welcome back to our channel. This is Jared from Three Seas Recreation. It's a beautiful Monday morning, so I thought I would show you guys the three different chassis sizes for the 25 horse tractor. It's rare that we actually have all three in stock, so the middle one already sold, so before that leaves tomorrow, I thought it'd be a great day for me to show you guys the differences. I won't go too much into the specs on like the loader capacities, because that's something you guys can look up on the computer but just give you guys a general walk around in the standard features. These are all the hydrostatic tractors. So they all have the forward and reverse on the pedal. This one happens to be a two speed. We have high and low. This is our rear three point arm raise and lowering. It is, all these are two wheel drive and four wheel drive tractors. Our diesel on the 125 goes in here. Our three point arm around the back here. It does come with a toolbox. They all have that. This series does have a really nice seat. It's got an adjustable backrest so you can tip it forward and back on it. We have three different modes for our rear PTO. You can have rear, mid and rear, or mid only. And we activate that over here on the dash. Activate on or off right there. This is our throttle. So once we pick our low or high, we can then do our throttle. Depending on what you're doing and the implement you're using, you gotta have certain RPM ranges. And then from there, you're just gonna push your foot on the pedal. The key is in the center here, and this is our parking brake. Light switches on the size, on the side there. The seat is adjustable on this model. This is to lock in our, our rear differential. This is the speed of our rear three-point arms, if the, how fast they go up and down. And then this is, if we had a mower deck on this model, this is how we adjust the bottom of the deck there. The brake pedals on this side. All of these tractors have the really cool quick connect front loader arms. So you can take this whole assembly right off the tractor very easy. We would drop these feet down, pull the pins, use the loader itself to pull it up out of the, out of the framework. And then we just disconnect our hydraulic hoses. They're all color coded. So if you go to put it back together, it's very easy to do. The styling of the MT1 is very nice. They do make this in a 22 horse tractor as well. But I was doing a video on the 25 horse tractors for you guys here. One thing about the MT1 series is that the front bucket is pinned on and is not the quick connect. So if you're looking for a ton of implements, which we stock a lot of, you would have to buy the kit to turn this front loader into the quick connect. It also does not have a leveling arm so you know where level is. It just has this little level indicator and that's kind of hard to use if you're way up here in the tractor and you're into a pile of gravel. You really don't know where level is. The next tractor we'll show you guys is the MT225S. This is by far the biggest selling tractor that we have in our lineup. You get a ton of features. It's a great size tractor. It fits in between the, the E series and the MT1 series. This tractor, you are gonna get the quick connect front bucket so you can pull the pin or pull the pull up on the arms, roll your roll your loader out, and go pick up whatever you need. The two bigger series are nice. They do have the leveling pin. So when this little knuckle is directly in the middle of this, that means our bucket is level. So if you guys are driving into a pile of gravel, you know you're not digging too far down or you're not not leaving a hill underneath of it. These ones are pinned, like we said. You can take this whole loader assembly off. You just drop the feet, pull the pins, pull it up, unhook your hydraulics. Here's our forward and reverse. Our, our range is on this side. In this one, we have a low, mid, and high. So this is a three-speed transmission on this one. And we still have the throttle in the same spot. What's nice about this series tractor is you have a little bit more adjustment. You can actually adjust the height of your armrest and I think this is really nice they actually have the loader valve and control back on this side of the chassis and I'll show you how it's a little bit farther forward on the E series you kind of have to work you got to have your hand out higher if you're running it all day long this is a really nice angle for your elbow to sit here and control this we do have the two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive here again this is our rear three-point link our PTO on and off is on this side, and we can still control. A little bit different setup on this one. We have our rear PTO and mid PTO. You can still have both on at the same time if you want to. So you make your selection, 
and then turn your PTO on here show you guys the back of the tractor here still have the toolbox on this model it's got the foldable ROPS all three of these are foldable we have our brake here a little more adjustability with the steering wheel on this we have a little lever we push down here and that'll raise and lower our steering wheel so you can really fine-tune that the seat is adjustable forward and back and like I mentioned the armrests so this is by far the most comfortable setup out of the three got our light switches here parking brake again this one has a little step to get up on you can still lock the rear diff in and out on this tractor so this is the MT225S. This is by far the newest styling as well. Great seller for us. This is the biggest 25 horse tractor offered by LS. This is the E series. It's the economy series, but it's the biggest and it's the best value. You're gonna get the biggest bucket they offer and you can tell how much bigger this bucket is. And again, the bigger the bucket, it'll lift more as well. If you guys go onto their website, it'll show you the lifting capacities of all three of these. This does have the quick connect so we can pull the arms and rock out of it. It does have the level indicator. So if you're again into that pile of gravel, you're not going uphill or downhill, you can keep it flat driving in. This whole loader assembly does come off the front of the tractor. Again, we put the feet down, pull the pins, use our hydraulics. They're all still color coded. I will say that this is probably the most uncomfortable setup of all three. So if you're using this all day, the economy series, you lose like the armrests and the adjustability of the seat. The seat will still go forward and back, but it doesn't have like the backrest tilt and no armrest. So to hold your arm out here all day and run this, you might have to come up with something on the fender to kind of give your elbow somewhere to rest. This is our PTO on and off, our throttle. Again, it's a hydraulic drive tractor, so we have our, our forward and back, or hydrostatic. So we got forward and reverse here. And we have a three speed still. We have low, mid, neutral, and high, which is nice. We'll walk around the back of it here. This is where our fuel gets filled, is right here. And like I said, you can see how much bigger the tires are. So if you're trying to do any kind of field work, way better to get in and out. We still have the brake on this side and the parking brake lever with that. Our light switch is on this side. The steering wheel is not adjustable. So the only thing we can really adjust for the driver is gonna be the seat forward and back. That's why that tractor has so much more creature comfort. We can tilt the wheel, adjust the armrest, seat backrest, forward back. Really nice setup. Thought it was a beautiful day to give you guys a quick walk around of all three tractors. Like I said, inventory the last three years of COVID has been miserable. To actually have all three in stock is a pretty, pretty rare thing. Again, this is Jared at 3Cs Recreation. Have a great day.